A rock is thrown vertically upward with initial speed v0. Assume a friction force proportional to the negative of the velocity vector, where the velocity vector is the velocity of the rock, and neglect the buoyant force exerted by air. Which of the following is correct? Okay, I will first make a diagram here, where the x-axis is the time, and the y-axis is the height of the rock as a function of time. Then I will simply draw the path of the rock. So it's going up, 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 and then it's going down. And on the up, the velocity vector points upward, while the friction points in the opposite direction, down. Okay. While going down, the rock's velocity is pointing downward. Well, remember that the friction is in the opposite direction of the velocity. So here, it's pointing upward. However, remember that we know absolutely nothing about the magnitudes of the friction and the velocity. So the magnitude of the friction it's not that it doesn't equal it, we just don't know. It also subjected to an acceleration, and if the rock is subjected to gravity. And here, on top, what happens here? Remember that as it changes direction, the velocity is equal to zero, but the acceleration does not equal zero. In fact, the acceleration here is equal to the gravity, both in magnitude and direction. So go back and read the answers from A to E, and you see the only correct answer for certain that we know is B. All right, let's move on to question number two. Okay, see you then. Bye-bye.